We just want to look. To look at what? At you. Okay. Uh, okay. Satsumi, I have another request. Do you mind if we sit on the floor today? Why is that? It's a little bit easier on my back. What's wrong with your back? I can read with my back against the wall rather than bending over at my desk. <laughs> See, I don't even want to make fucking sex jokes, because I'm more concerned about these characters' lives, even if they are two-dimensional. Ah, oh, sorry, I didn't realize. No worries. I just have back pain fairly regularly, so I do my best to manage it. Is that so? I wonder why that is. It's more likely because my... Ah! Uh, my... I... Your posture, right? Always hunched over like that while reading? Uh, yes! <laughs> Giant breasts! <laughs> and terrible reading posture. So that's why we sit on the floor. Fair enough. I'll go ahead and get the book. I retrieved the book from my bag. Ah, uh, I have some chocolate as well. It's a bag of smart. Where the fuck did we get chocolates? <laughs> nice. Fancy as fuck. Well, Natsuki's right there in the back reading manga. I hope she doesn't get jealous. As if we were to see. Mm hmm. Except this time, our bodies are even closer to each other. Ooh. I can't see too well. Huh? Ooh. Bones to our shoulders are touching. How am I supposed to focus on reading like this? Yuri was always kind of cute, but if she's being less apprehensive, it's almost more than I can handle. Your teacup! Yuri hands me my teacup. Holding it with my hand that's not holding the book, I end up in a position that makes it even harder to focus. Because now I need to worry about making sure I don't accidentally touch her chest. <gasps> oh my! Why am I- Why am I getting so... excited about this? Like, I'm more concerned about fucking Monica fucking ruining everything. Meanwhile, Yuri hasn't noticed a single thing. She wears her intense reading expression, and I can only presume the world around her has faded away. You know, what if the only way to break the spell is to just, like, straight up sexually assault one of these girls? <laughs> to the point where it's like, oh, they're disgusted by me and they will never date me. I use all my willpower to focus on reading. Yeah. After a few minutes, I finally managed to relax a little. I put the teacup between my legs and fumbled with the chocolate. Put the fucking teacup on the floor! You're on the floor! Jesus Christ! Sorry. I briefly look over the book. Uh huh. You can have as much as you want. Ah, oh, that's. That's okay, I won't take any. Yeah? Are you sure? Well? Yeah, I don't know. I don't trust candy that I just found randomly in my bag. If I touch it, then it might get smudges on the pages. Ah, you're right. I didn't even think about that. My bad. No need to apologize. I'll hold the book, okay? Are you sure? Of course. I mean, her eyes look really pretty, but I just don't like the way her f face is drawn. I didn't realize her nose was that pointy, too. It doesn't matter. I'm not trying to bang her, I'm trying to save her this time. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay, so she's holding the book. But as a result, her left arm is practically resting on top of my leg. <sighs> this is any other game. I'd be happy to be feeling this, but I'm so fucking nervous. Well, in that case, Yuri's already... You gonna put your arm around her? Oh. Then I take another chocolate. And I hold it up to Yuri. Oh man, you're gonna feed her? She doesn't even look away from the book. I don't think she wants to be fed. I think she's... I think she knows, in her mind, she is remembering the events that are happening too. <laughs> Put it in. Put it in. I mean, we, oh, hey. Huh? I don't think she really knew that it was gonna happen. <laughs> you never didn't expect that. Did, did I just? Yuri looks at me like she needs to confirm what just happened. Um. That's me. Getting a little close. I mean, 
a little bit too fast, don't you think? We've only met for like two days. So sorry. I guess I shouldn't have done that. Uh -uh. Oh no. What did you feed her? Yeah, I knew that it was a bad idea to fucking feed her random chocolate I found in my bag. It's never a good idea. I... I can't. It's not to me. Suddenly, Yuri forcefully grabs my arm and jerks me to my feet. Uh-oh. My teacup gets knocked over. Uh-oh. It's not to me. My heart. What? My heart won't stop pounding, it's not to me. I can't calm down. So Yuri, calm down. I can't focus on anything anymore. Can you feel it, Satsumi? Yuri suddenly presses my hand against her chest. Okay. Why is this happening to me? Uh... I don't know. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Don't lose your mind. Keep calm. And read a book. His books make you normal. I can't make it stop. Look, 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 look. Look, if, if I was in this situation, I would just back away, but keep a good look, look on, eye on her, and she should just read her books. It even makes me not want to read. No, 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 no. You want to read. Reading makes you calm. I just want to look. To look at what? At you. Okay. Uh, okay. Ha! Ah! Yuri, you're getting a little weird now. Ha! Ah! Yuri, those eyes. I don't like those eyes. Ha! Ah! Okay. Natsuki, can you help me out here? Oh my god, Nanaka, what the hell? Ah. I don't want you to fucking save me, alright? I would've been fine with Natsuki. Where is Natsuki? I'm very concerned for Yuri. I should probably keep on with Yuri. Natsuki, I trust Natsuki. She's not gonna fucking get- she's not gonna break down. I don't know why- how she would break down. I've been waiting for this. Let's see what you've been for today. Okay. I mean, it's 10-10. It's not to me. This one might be even better than yesterday's. Very physically swallows, we remember that. Uh -huh. Good. Hope you are valued. Just pounds, just holding it. Oh man, now I feel bad. I don't think I should make her. I don't think I should have made her fall in love with me. She seems to have like a problem, but I can't fuck up this time. I fucked up with that with Sayuri. This time I'm gonna make sure that our feelings are we are gonna be together. Cause I know Natsuki is strong-willed. Not being weird, right? I'm embarrassed. But right now, I just want to read my poem, too. Okay? Oh. Well, this is different. Nothing's gonna pop out when I'm reading this, right? Well, this is different and very, very concerning. <laughs> it doesn't really matter what's about. My mind has been a little hyperactive lately, so I had to take it out in her pen. Uh, is a pen fell out of your backpack yesterday, so I took it from for safekeeping and... Oh my god, why does she have to be so weird? You know what, Yuri? I'm gonna make sure you stay alive. I, uh, I just really like the way that writes. This would have been so much easier if I just chose Natsuki first and foremost. So I wrote this poem with it. And now you're touching it. <laughs> I'm okay. What did I just... 
Oh. Can we pretend this conversation never happened? You can keep the poem, though. Uh, I don't want to keep the poem. That's kind of creepy. Alright, it needs some joy in my life right now. <laughs> Glad to see someone recognizes my experience. Well then, keep practicing, and maybe you'll be as good as me someday. That's, uh... Something tells me Natsuki completely missed the point. I'm glad. This is more normal than Yuri and Monica right now. Just make sure you find a little bit of influence from everyone. Uh... Nah, I think I'm fine. I think you're at least being influenced by Yuri a little bit, aren't you? Yeah, kinda. I think she's a little bit starting to break down. I don't know what her problem is, but I definitely don't want her to die. I mean, I know you've been like... Okay, God, okay, she understands. Good, so I don't have to worry about Natsuki too much. Spending some time with her, or whatever. But you know, Monica and I are just as good as her. You're just as good as her. Monica, not so much. At Pum, I mean... So you should really try to learn something, or you'll never get better. Well, I'm trying to do 10-10, but it's been registering as Yuri, so I'm just gonna stick with Yuri, because I don't want her to die. Here's the one I wrote. I'll make sure you learn something from it. Alright, cool. So it's still the Amy Likes Spiders. Alright, so... I'm... I'm... Natsuki's still normal, so that's good. Such as two girls in this club who I respectfully won't name. Oh... Why are they messing with her manga literature collection? Kind of ironic that even in my one place of comfort, I can't even have people respect me. <laughs> I respect you, Atsuki. That's why I don't want to connect with you right now, because anyone I connect deeply with dies. Jeez, now you're making me complain too much. What did I do? For what it's worth, I respect you. Well... I guess thanks. But it's kind of obvious that you respect Yuri more, so... Yes. Yes. Keep thinking like that. Whatever. We're done sharing, so you can leave now. I'm so glad that she understands. Alright, Monica. What are you gonna do to me? <laughs> Satomi, I think you saw something earlier that you weren't supposed to see. Yeah? I didn't want to have to tell you this, but I don't think I have a choice. What are you gonna do to me? It's getting kind of dangerous for you to spend so much time with Yuri. <sighs> I don't know why, but she seems pretty excitable when she's around you. Which shouldn't be a problem in itself. Uh-huh. But when Yuri gets too excited, she finds a place to hide and starts cutting herself with a pocket knife. Well, as long as she's not actively... If it's not lethal... <laughs> no, it sounds so terrible. You shouldn't cut yourself. But, I mean, if you have to, at least don't kill yourself with by doing it. Isn't that kind of messed up? You know what's more messed up? You fucking manipulating her to do that. She even brings a different one to school every day like she has a collection or something. Because she loves knives. She's into knives. You don't understand. I mean, it's definitely not because she's depressed or anything like that. Would Yuri even be considered depressed? I feel like she just has some anxiety to deal with. I think she just gets kind of... some kind of high off of it. I think she has an addiction. So it might even be like a... a sexual thing. Maybe. But the point is, you've been kind of enabling her. No, because if I leave her alone, I feel like it'll be worse. So I'm not gonna fucking leave her alone. I'm not saying it's your fault, though. But I guess that's why I had to explain it all to you. What are you trying to make me do? You want me to hang out with Natsuki? She already has feelings for me. I don't want to hurt her more. So I think if you keep your distance, that would be probably be the best for her. You know what? I'm not gonna listen to you this time. While you're at it, don't be shy to spend a little more time with me. <laughs> yeah, right, Monica, you can fuck off. To put it lightly, I at least have it together in my head, and I know how to treat my club members. <laughs> oh, I know we fucking deal with you fucking mean motherfucker. But anyway, you wanna read my poem now? I like the way this turned out, so I'll help you do too. Oh, okay. Seven. The colors. They 
What? Mm -hmm. No. What was that? Delete who? Don't you fucking delete Yuri. Sorry, I know it's kind of abstract. I'm just trying to... Um... Well, never mind. There's no point in explaining. Anyway... Here's Michael's writing tip of the day. Sometimes you'll find yourself facing a difficult decision. When that happens, don't forget to save your game. You never know when, um... Who am I talking to? Can you hear me? Tell me you can hear me. Anything. Please help me. Is this Monica speaking, or is this the evil Monica? Is there an actual Monica in her? That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Are there two Monicas? Man. Alright, let's see it. Ha! Ha ha ha! Ha! Yeah, right. You think I'm gonna fall for that? What the fuck? Okay, everyone. We're all done reading each other's poems, right? Fuck. Right? We have something we need to go over today. So if everyone could come sit at the front of the room. Is this about the festival? Well, sorta. Of. Okay, let's just go skip through this. <laughs> it's true. We don't need more. Exactly. In fact, I don't even think that I think this club should disband. Natsuki, I don't think you're looking at it the right way at all. Yeah, Natsuki, please be more pessimistic. Don't you want to share? No, you don't. <laughs> People can express themselves like they can't do anywhere else. It should be a place so intimate that you would never want to leave. I know that you feel that way. I know we all do. So that's why we should work hard and put something together for the festival, even if it's something small. Right, Satomi? Oh, man. Ah, I don't know, Monica. You're still evil. But you might have someone deep inside you that might be worth saving. But Yuri isn't a concern of mine right now. Oh, come on. You can't take advantage of Satomi to agree with you just because he doesn't know how to know, say you know anything. Exactly. Look, Monica. Do you really think any of us here join the club with other people in mind? Yes. Yuri never even talked until Satomi joined. As for me, I just like it better here than I do at home. Oh, right. I forgot. Natsuki has a fucked up dad. That's why I, I, I think... And Satsumi isn't even passionate about literature in the first place. Yes, Natsuki, speak more reason. And that's everyone. Sorry, but you're really the only one who's so interested in finding new members. The rest of us are fine like this. I know you're president and all, but you should really consider our opinions for once. Oh, thank you. Monica is clearly taken aback by... <laughs> Fuck yeah, Natsuki. That's not true at all. I'm sure Yuri and Satomi want to get some more members, too. If it's another boy, I'll be fine with another boy. Right? I don't know about Yuri, but I'm kind of indifferent. If I showed as much enthusiasm as Monica wanted, then I would probably be lying. Still, if it's up to me to rescue the situation... No! Um... No? Natsuki's right, isn't she? This club. It's nothing more than a place for a few people to hang out. That's, isn't that what most clubs are? 
Why did I think that everyone here saw it the way I, as I did? But that doesn't mean that we're against getting new members or anything. Satomi, why did you even join this club? <laughs> because you made me. <laughs> you guys made me to join. I didn't want to join. What were you hoping to get out of it? Well, I guess originally I was trying to get a girlfriend. Well, that's not really something I can be honest about, is it? In fact, if I remember, you weren't even given a choice not to join. Oh. What's the point of all this, anyway? What if starting this club was a mistake? Yes! Yes, let's save the two. Let's save everybody. Now you've done it, Natsuki. What? Me? I just spoke my mind. Keep speaking your mind, it's working. Is it a crime to be honest? No, it's not. It's not about being honest. Yes, it is. Yuri, stop, stop, trying, to, stop trying to save this situation. It's about war choice. Besides, you have no right to speak for everyone else in the club like that. Yes, yeah, she does! You understand at all. I just... I just want a place that feels nice to hang out with a few friends. She doesn't want to go home because her dad beats her. Alright? Is there a problem with the club being that for me? There aren't... There aren't many places like, like that for me. And I'm happy that you're safe here. But Monica is not. You should join another club, Yutsuki. Join the anime club. I don't care if you get hit on by all the weaves there. You'll be safer than Monica. And now Monica wants it to take it away from me? She's not taking anything away. No, Satsumi. It's not the same. It won't be the same with the direction she wants to take it. If I wanted that, then I could have joined any other stupid club. She just wants to be alone. But not this one. I mean, at least for a little bit of time, things were nice. Natsuki. Good. Please leave. I'm going home. No! No, not home! I feel like I don't belong here right now. Okay, well, if she goes home, she might be safe, right? She might be abused by her dad, but she's not gonna die. Oh, that sounds fucking awful. God damn it, Natsuki. Natsuki. Natsuki ignores Yuri and walks out of the classroom. Oh. This club's gonna disband. Great. This is bad. I don't know what to do. Well... Do you have an opinion on the festival? I don't know. I'm kind of indifferent, I guess. See? Who cares about that obnoxious brat? I mean, I like how nice and quiet that club is right now. And I'm just happy with you here. Good. As long as you don't die. But still... I'm the Vice President. It's not right for me to ignore my responsibilities like that. Nobody would cry if she killed herself! Uh... I would. I don't want her to kill herself. What the fuck was that? I should do my best to consider everyone's perspective and make the decision that's right for the club. But what about you, Satomi? What do you want to get out of this club? Yuri repeats the same question as Monica. I decide giving, giving a dirt dancer is better than nothing. I think the most important thing is for everyone to get along. And for the club to provide something that you can't get anywhere else. I don't think it's about how many members, but rather the quality of each member. That's what will end up making the Literature Club a special place. I see. I really agree with you. Each member contributes their own qualities in a special way. With each chain in each members, the identity of the club as a whole will change too. What? Uh... Is she bleeding from her eye? I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. Can you stop bleeding from your eyes? Stepping out of your comfort zone once in a while? Yes. Uh, like, get us, like away from the knives. So if you would like to help Monica with the festival, then I'm on your side as well. Alright.
maybe we can talk to Natsuki tomorrow. Yes. Hey, Yuri. Eh? Um, I know things were a little awkward yesterday. But I feel like you deserve to know that I still think you're a wonderful vice president. And also a wonderful friend. Malonica! <clears throat> I want to do everything I can to make this the best club ever. Okay? Me too. Yeah. Let's all go home for today. We'll talk about the festival tomorrow. Okay. I look forward to it. Shall we go, Satomi? Um... Please don't take this the wrong way, but... I'm going to chat a little with Satomi before we leave. What are you saying? Just to see what he thinks of his time here and all that. It's a little... hit and miss, up and downs. It's important to me as president. Oh. Yuri looks a little troubled, but she doesn't protest. <clears throat> okay. I trust your judgment, Monica. In that case, I'll see the two of you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. What are you gonna say to me? Phew. Things have been a bit hectic lately, haven't they? Satsumi, I just want to make sure you're enjoying your time at this club. I would really hate to see you unhappy. I feel kind of like I'm responsible for that as president. And I really do care about you, you know? I don't like seeing the other girls give you a hard time. Uh... With how mean Natsuki is and everything. I don't mind. And Yuri being a little bit, you know. I don't mind that at all either. Ahaha! Sometimes it feels like you and I are the only real people here. What do you... You know what I mean? But it's weird because in all the time you've been here, we've hardly all gotten to spend any time together. Yeah, I wonder why. Ah, I mean... I guess it's technically only been a couple days. Sorry, I didn't mean to say something weird. There are just some things I've been hoping to talk about with you. Things I only, you know, you only you can understand. So that's why. Wait, not yet! No!